Uh, BIM has um, become mainstream, really, in the uh, in the construction industry. Uh, adding the third dimension is changing the the estimating practice. Uh, so many of you have estimating software installed on your computers, and uh, and maybe you'd like to start taking advantage of 5D cost planning. Uh, but of course, you're, you're you should not be disturbed uh, by introducing that third dimension, so 5D cost planning in your daily work. Uh, so what we bring with uh, Vico Cost Planner is a familiar and an easy to learn environment uh, which was needed uh, and also allow you to at the same time continue to perform the, the traditional 2D estimating work in the same environment. One of the, uh, the, the things that we're solving uh, to keep that familiar environment is on the one hand addressing the, ne the need for database uh, because you want to build a knowledge database and you want to reuse information from earlier projects or a standard set of data with templates. We'll talk about that later on as well. Uh, but at the same time you want to maintain the flexibility and the ease of use of your, your current tools or uh, of, uh, of a spreadsheet. From what we've learned working working with customers and, and talking to customers, um, the, the accuracy of 2D estimating is always the result of uh, manual measuring of quantities, or maybe semi-automated, and putting them into the computer to calculate the cost. And from what we've seen, that is really a difficult process that can and does lead to uh, non-accurate cost estimates. That, that is one of the risks in, in a project. With Cost Planner, we developed a solution that improves cost estimating work. And as we all know, one of the risks of the 2D estimating process is that elements in the 2D drawings and specifications are missed, uh, which can lead to an estimate that's too low. Uh, also, owners tell us that they're always throttled by the 2D information and spreadsheets that are uh, typically used. And, and one of them told us, well, I actually never know how much a project costs and, and how long it will take uh, before the completion of the project. Another aspect that we're uh, addressing is the fact that design information is coming to project teams in, in various formats. Uh, traditionally, that was uh, PDFs and, uh, and 2D drawings, uh, maybe some uh, in, in a digital way. Uh, but you now also have to deal with various BIM formats. Uh, Vico Office allows you to choose the desired BIM platform, and it also lets you enter project information that you receive as, uh, as 2D inputs. And last point, but uh, surely not the least, is that the system should extend the, the existing skill of estimating teams. Uh, so we want to provide, or we provide a, a solution that really validates uh, the, the work uh, that is already done today and, and to, to help you to further develop the cost information for projects. We call the, uh, the cost calculation module for the vehicle office cost planner because it really enables a different process. Uh, Don already hinted at that. And we call it 5D cost planning and I'd like to go through the differences. The 2D estimates are typically created as autonomous documents uh, where one estimate is created per phase. And the difficulty there is that there's not really a connection between the versions, no 100% connection. So finding cost variance between two versions is, is a difficult process. With 5D cost planning, uh, the cost plan is developed gradually, and you replace line items one by one. Uh, by doing that, you maintain the previous assumption or an allocation and provide you with immediate feedback. We'll see that in a demonstration. Due to the amount of work that is involved in, in creating 2D estimates, and I think that is especially the case in the, in the construction documentation phase, uh, the amount of estimating versions that can be created is, is limited. There's just not enough time. 
uh, but that can lead to big jumps between versions. So there may be a big cost variance. You need to figure out where the difference is. Um, in 5D cost planning, the information is replaced gradually. And the result is, at any point in time, 100% complete cost plan. Uh, so this allows you to really create an infinite number of cost plan releases. In 2D estimating, the, uh, the quantity takeoff, like I, I mentioned earlier, is manual or semi-automated. Uh, but anyway, it is, it is a, a difficult process. Uh, the 5D cost planning approach uses model-based automated input, uh, of course, where necessary complemented with manual entry. And the construction caliber quantities that we derive from 3D models drive not only the 5D cost plan, but also the 4D schedule. With uh, paper-based cost estimating, uh, your, your input is disconnected and doesn't really have any relation with the, with the re resulting um, estimated printout or with the 2D plans of the design. The model in, in 5D cost planning provides you with direct visual feedback for, for any selected cost item. So the interaction with the design, the feedback, and understanding where cost is coming from is much better. We've seen that 2D estimating is typically performed after the completion of a design phase. Uh, so a conceptual design is completed, a uh, schematic design phase is completed. Uh, but when the estimating work is done, the project design team has already marched on and is working on new design decisions. And it is therefore that feedback tends to come too late. With the 5D cost planning method on the opposite, uh, the, um, the cost planners become part of the decision making process because you can provide that cost feedback on, on any design decision immediately. The, uh, the 2D estimates are typically made available through disconnected versions. And again, the, uh, the cost planning is a continuous process where you release cost plan versions on demand. Uh, so whenever a manager, an owner, uh, wants to get an update on the cost status, you just open the cost plan and you get the, the current view uh, based on the currently available design information. And the last comparison point, comparing versions of a cost estimate is, uh, is not an easy task. I've mentioned that before, especially not when going from, say, a conceptual phase to a detailed design phase, uh, where often the, the codes and the descriptions are changed. It is hard to find the matches between the two versions. Again, with 5D cost planning, uh, you get immediate feedback on each, each design decision, and that makes it easier to keep your budget on track. As you can see, there's uh, there's quite a big difference between traditional estimating and, uh, and 5D cost planning. Cost planning is much more dynamic than traditional estimating as the, the project team has the flexibility to ask in-depth question or what-if scenarios and see the, uh, the impact to the project immediately. A, um, a simple example of cost planning uh, is that by adding more detailed information to one cost item, say for for 50 doors, uh, it can be calculated more accurately. And so an example there would be uh, breaking it down per type. And for each of the types, uh, define how much and what kind of labor is required for installing each door. That would be three tiers of information in the cost plan that we will look at in a minute. 